everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Davis Maddock of DailyRoto.com. We're going to break down the Super Bowl props for the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs. What's happening, Davis? You know, not much. Very excited to watch the Kansas City Chiefs in their first Super Bowl in 50 years. You know, Kansas City native. Uh, very, very excited for this game. There it is, man. Super, super exciting stuff. The only thing that would probably make it more exciting was if Patrick Laird was there. He's not. But that's okay. We do have six props that we like. And it begins with Patrick Mahomes. The total passing yard number is 297 and a half. What do you think? I think 297 and a half is super generous from the FanDuel Sportsbook. I think that uh, the fair line for this probably would have been closer to like 300, maybe 303, which has been a pretty standard Patrick Mahomes passing prop in the past. This is going to be a really competitive game, obviously, with the one and a half point spread. I think uh, conversely or, or, or sort of oddly. We like having Patrick Mahomes against tough defenses uh, for his overs because that means he's going to be passing for four quarters. They're not going to have to run the ball in the second half because they're going to have to pass the whole game. They are going to have to pass all game. It's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Whether they get down or not, they're going to lean on Mahomes because they don't care about establishing the run. They care about getting Mahomes his yards, getting him his touchdowns. The Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. It's going to be on the arm of Patrick Mahomes. you got to like the over 297 and a half. Continuing on, Davis, with some of these chief props that you like, well, who's going to score a touchdown? We saw a lot from Tyreek Hill. We've seen it certainly from Sammy Watkins. You're going to Mikko Hardman. How come? Yeah, McCole Hardman, anytime touchdown prop at plus 3.9, so 3.9 to 1 uh, for a McCole Hardman touchdown. Uh, I really like this one. He played 41% of the Chiefs' offensive snaps in the AFC Conference Championship game. That was one of his highest totals of the year. So basically, they've, they've sort of been saving or preparing McCole Hardman for a big role in the playoffs because they know that Demarcus Robinson is, you know, he's a useful NFL player, but Hardman is an explosive NFL player. You know, they they generally diagram up at least one play a game designed to get him, uh, you know, with the ball in space. And he also is the primary kick and punt returner for the Kansas City Chiefs as well. Uh, so that just gives him, you know, obviously a few extra chances per game to score a touchdown. Chiefs are a team that are going to take shots during the Super Bowl, and McCall Hardman's one of those guys that they utilize for those plays, and as you said, he's the primary kickoff and punt returner, allowing him to get a couple of extra chances to find the end zone. McCall Hardman, you get him at plus 390 to score a touchdown, so lay down a dollar on that one. Let's continue with these other anytime touchdown uh, bets, and a couple of weeks back, we saw Blake Bell get in the end zone against the Houston Texans. You think he might do it again? All right, so stick with me here. There are a couple reasons that we like Blake Bell 12 to 1 for an anytime touchdown. The first is that he is, you know, a good weapon in the red zone. He's a huge guy. He's about 6'5, 260 pounds. So he's he's a big guy. He's hard to cover in the red zone. And he actually plays more than most people would think. The Chiefs use two tight ends, especially in the red zone, you know, a fair number of the times. You know, Bell generally plays between 30 and 40 percent of the Chiefs' snaps, but also Blake Bell was both a high school and a college quarterback before transitioning to the uh, to the tight end position. And, uh, you know, if the Kansas City Chiefs chose to run the Philly special with Blake Bell, they would have, you know, a former college starting quarterback as the guy throwing the pass on that play with Blake Bell. And I, I kind of think I kind of think that they have that in them. Doug Peterson, of course, worked for Andy Reid with the Kansas City Chiefs, former backup quarterback for him for the Philadelphia Eagles and Green Bay Packers. Maybe a little magic in Kansas City for Blake Bell, the former college and high school quarterback. We saw him in the end zone just a couple of weeks back. See if he can do it again in Super Bowl 54. Well, let's go to the less crazy now. We'll go to Damian Williams, who's had a really nice playoff run for the second consecutive year. Uh, you like him to have two or more touchdowns in this game, and you're getting that at plus 420, which seems like pretty good value. Yeah, it seems like really good value to me because the Chiefs are not playing any other running backs at all. LaShawn McCoy has one snap in the playoffs. Darwin Thompson has 12 snaps in the playoffs. He had no snaps last week after uh, Patrick Mahomes tried to hit him on the wheel route, and uh, it, it just bounced off of Darwin's feet because he didn't even turn around and look for it. Thus far uh, in the playoffs, Damian Williams has four touchdowns through two games, uh, and, and you might you know you might rationally think, well, that's sort of unreasonable. He's not gonna he's not gonna keep 
keep up that kind of pace. And then you look at what he did in the playoffs last year, and you realize that he scored four touchdowns in the two playoff games that the, they played last year. So really, when the Kansas City Chiefs are in the playoffs and they're playing these tight, competitive games, Damian Williams is just a huge part of what they do because he's so good at catching passes out of the backfield. And I, you know, I think if any Chief was going to score two touchdowns, Damian would have to be the favorite. Simply, he's out there every single play. LaShawn McCoy inactive. Darwin Thompson doing nothing but just getting hit, as you said, in the back of the leg. He's the only guy that's out there, and he's playing big-time snaps for this Kansas City Chiefs team. He has a chance to obviously run it in from his position uh, behind Patrick Mahomes or catch the passes. He's going to be out there a lot. you got to like him at plus 420. This is really good value, and I think a really good bet. You're probably my favorite thus far out of all your props. And now we go to my least favorite out of all your props, and that brings us to Harrison Butker, who is plus 15,000 to be the MVP. Why would you think they are, they are ever giving the MVP to a kicker? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk you through this, because if you remember, this has happened before. There has been a kicker that won Super Bowl MVP before, and I will, I will, I will walk you through how this happens. One, it's got to be a low-scoring game, right? Because Mahomes is going to get this even with 250 passing yards and two touchdowns. So the the scenario in which, you know, Butker or Gold, but, you know, whichever one, the scenario in which they win, there's no defensive special teams turnovers. It's a super low scoring game. Like imagine last year, if um, the Rams Patriots game was 13 to three, and then, you know, the Rams start to do a comeback and then they need three field goals uh, over the second half of the game in order to get the lead. The last one comes, you know, with, with time running off the clock, it's like a, a 58 yarder or something, but Kurt nails it. That that's the scenario. And when I'm looking at these props, I wanted to have one deep. I wanted to have one really deep pick right you gotta have something that pays out it better than 100 to 1 if you're if you're gonna make a full card and i and i thought that in a, a chief's low scoring win who would be most likely to win mvp and i think it would be butker i can't remember the last time a kicker was a super bowl mvp i'm confident it's never happened probably not gonna happen davis but hey why not one long shot one final prop to get to and that is in regards to travis kelsey you like him over 70 70- 73 and a half receiving yards here. And that's actually minus 112 at the FanDuel Sportsbook. So they think he's going to do it. Why are you buying this one? Yeah, so actually very similar to the uh, very similar to the Patrick Mahomes over props is we just think that this is going to be a competitive game. We think that Kansas City is going to pass more than they run. And Travis Kelsey is their leading target getter over the course of the year. Now, Tyreek Hill, when he's healthy, generally has more targets than Travis Kelsey. However, you know, in these tight, close, competitive games, we expect Kelsey to be their primary read on third downs. We expect him to get some extra checkdowns that he doesn't get when they're not playing competitive games because those just turn into running plays instead. So Kelsey, you know, I, I think all Kelsey overs, you know, catches, anytime touchdown, over 73 and a half receiving yards. I like all of his overs because I, I think this is just going to be a monstrous game for him. Yeah, Kelsey should eat. Kelsey versus Kittle, it's going to be a fun one in the Super Bowl. But you like Travis Kelsey to go over his number, along with Patrick Mahomes over his number, in what we expect to be a high-scoring affair during Super Bowl 54. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel. Hurry up. Davis, it's been a blast. I'll be rooting for Harrison Bucker that day. There we go. That's, uh, you know, that's how we get there. And, uh, you know, it, it, here's the thing. If you've listened to this, you heard 150 to 1, and you don't bet it, and he wins, you're going to hate yourself. And you don't want to hate yourself, so you might as well make the bet. 150 to 1 on Harrison Bucker. Have a great night, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with some NBA DFS plays. For Davis Maddock, I'm Greg Sussman. We'll see you tomorrow.